Hello dear ones and welcome to the Men of the Zodiac series. The Capricorn man, who is he? How is he? Wow. Do you know that the Capricorn men are the most handsome men of the Zodiac? Yes, they are. The most handsome men of the Zodiac I'm going to speak about today. Well, when you look at them, they will appear very shy, very reserved, cool, rather I would say cold. <laughs> at the beginning, they are cold, as if, you know, they are made up of ice, you know. It's like really like aloof, you know, completely aloof and uh, insensitive also. You can find them a bit insensitive or a bit, you know, in their own world, very reserved and uh, they as if they have constructed some ice walls around them. So this is the kind of the icy man <laughs> that you're dealing with. When you find a Capricorn man, uh, you know, you will see him like that, almost very well dressed also. Many of them, I mean, decently dressed. I would say they are decently dressed and, uh, of course, uh, handsome. Yes, that is what uh, will attract uh, the ladies towards them. And um, you will feel that uh, this man doesn't care for anybody. He's just busy in his own world, in his uh, own thing, you know. He's like, we can almost mistake him. They, uh, he can be mistaken as someone who is a non-caring personality, you know, doesn't care. For those of you who don't know him, wait, we are getting there. <laughs> and then, after, once you start knowing him, this Saturnian guy, the Saturnian man, the guy who is ruled by the planet Saturn, this hard-working uh, and persevering man, once you get to know him, you will start seeing the other side of him. Well, you thought he was cold. He is not. In fact, he is very warm. You thought he was not caring. He is not. He is very, very caring. In fact, I would say he is very protective also. Uh, he is somebody, you know, with his partner. I have seen that these men are, uh, you know, they will always be very protective, very caring towards their partner. That's what I have seen. And equal rights, they believe in equal rights also. This is what I have seen also. Like they will not try kind of say, of course, they, he's a traditional man in his mind. But at the same time, he, he cannot be unjust towards his partner, you know. He feels that, okay, she wants to do something, he will let her do, not like, you know, imprison her and you do like this or you do like that, you know. It doesn't work like that with him. And then once you get to know him, you feel he's so protective, he's so caring. And uh, that man whom you thought was very boring and uh, almost always melancholic, you know, like you find them, they are a bit quiet uh, in the group. And they will smile also, uh, but sometimes they will smile um, in a way that, you know, like somebody might take it as, oh, he's so ignorant or he doesn't even want to laugh on a joke, you know, he's so gloomy. Someone can take him like that. But once you know him, he is a bag of fun, you know, like he will crack jokes. He has a very good sense of humor. But you have to know him. At the beginning, he doesn't open up with everyone, okay? And then once you are in, in his close circle, in his inner circle, which uh, very few people can make it over there. Not It's not for everyone because he's not extremely social kind of guy. Unless work is involved, he will be more social. But otherwise, he is not someone who will, uh, you know, uh, make a lot and lot of friends. He has few selected friends, selective he is about his friends. And he will just, you know, stick to his tried and tested people. That is his inner circle. And then when he lets you in his inner circle, then you come to know what he's all about. And then you start feeling that, oh, he's not as proud as I thought. Oh, he's not like, you know, a show off like I thought, you know, like you had built a lot of things in your head about him, which were wrong things about him. And no, it's not like that. In fact, he is a very down to earth, he's a very earthy man. He's a Capricorn, he's a mountain goat, you know, that. So he's a half goat and half fish <laughs> as they are, you know, symbolized by. So he has these two aspects. That goat aspect of him is about climbing to new heights and the fish aspect is about um, spirituality, inclined to spirituality. Later on in life, he becomes uh, inclined to spirituality. But the first half of his life goes in 
this building his career because he's an ambitious man ambitious you will not find him you will find him like oh he doesn't even have confidence in himself this is what the impression that people can get when they look at a capricorn man he's too shy or oh does he lack confidence or is he happy to be himself you know but deep inside of him my dear ones <laughs> once again <laughs> his outer facade is very deceiving deep inside of him he knows where he wants to go his goals are clear in his head okay he starts as a teenager uh, you know working in a shop and tomorrow is going to be the owner of that shop most probably it's like that with capricorns men these people the, the capricorn men they go very you know step wise they will go and they will achieve what they have to achieve and they're very determined and very you know they have a lot of perseverance when it comes to their work now you'll ask me is that how can this man fall in love you know because he's so <laughs> much in his work life you know because when you see him working he works when he works he works okay there is nothing uh, that you can do to stop this man when he starts to work is he takes his work very seriously again the saturnian quality you know the work is worship for him and uh, this is where when you start dating a capricorn man you feel he's less with you and more with his work his first love is his work and then it comes to you and yes if i have to say yes he will be like that he is very hard working for him like his day starts very early and it ends very late and if it is at the beginning of his job years then he will even give a bit more time to his work you know and he has you on the side in your life uh like in his life it is you also your presence in his life also but here it's more about the work that is going on and then you will say oh we started to date and uh maybe you met on a weekend <laughs> and he was on holiday so he gave you lots of time <laughs> i'm sorry to say that but but this man is like uh, you know other than weekends he is going to give you a bit of time and you have to be happy he gave it to you you know <laughs> because he is really a busy man when he goes to work as i said he is married to his work first and why is he doing that so that tomorrow when he decides that you are the one provided he decides that you are the one it's all for you because he's constructing a stable and comfortable life for you just like his fellow being the torians just like the taurus man it's like that he will always keep on uh investing time in constructing his stability he wants to see that his life is comfortable materially speaking is very very important to him for him this is why he starts working at a very early age also in life okay he can take up very small jobs you know he doesn't care whatever it is unless he has a very good family uh, uh, you know uh, support uh, where you know financial support where he will really manage it differently but otherwise he starts quite early in life and he will make uh, a point that his bank balance has to look uh, really fascinating like he has to smile when he sees that and not frown like oh, oh my bank balance doesn't look so good yeah so he works and when he works he does it so that because he keeps it in mind that without work without a proper handsome salary without a stability a material stability my relationship is not going to survive he's as practical as that my relationship is going to need taking my partner for some outings into some good restaurants giving my partner the gift time to time uh, going for movies so all this is going to cost something and a little cozy house so this is going to cost something and if that is not present then most probably my partner is not going to be happy going to be unsatisfied with me and leave and so all these things are in his mind and because of that he really feels that i need to make myself stable first and this is why love can take a back seat 
and the person who he loves might feel a little less loved until the other person is also equally you know uh stability oriented materially material stability oriented person this is how it works for him and then i see that also um the capricorn men once they start dating you uh then they then the idea of romance you know you'll say that oh, how can a person like him like you know does he have any romance himself or is it just going to be like a business relationship okay fine okay let's order tea okay honey you have your tea and i have mine and you know okay here you go this is a rose how is it it's nice oh so nice oh yes it's nice i took it in that shop you get very good roses there and yes by the way there was 50% discount on the rose well <laughs> how do you feel <laughs> this is how you feel yes in romance also for the capricorn man he's going to be a bit uh, like the 9 to 5 job <laughs> it's going to be hard working <laughs> towards it also he will be hard working he will observe you more you know he will observe you more he will try to give you good advice he'll try to make you laugh and in his romantic relationship with you also he will take it as a job many a times he will take it as a job like you know i have to do my best here and that's really good how many men will try that way so he'll be like i i have to you know win her every day so it's like that for him and this is why i will do my best you know and he will try to put up his best when it comes to romance also i mean if uh, in the prior days to your dating you will really feel oh he's so unromantic to start with okay or uh, some of them can also feel oh he's so flirtatious also because he does attract attention of a lot of women because he's quite good looking he's classy you know uh, the way he dresses up and all it can be quite classy he has a kind of a style i've seen uh, he has a kind of a style and aura about him you know like uh, that can make uh, ladies go a bit gaga over him Uh, but then uh, there is also a catch over here because as he is a saturnian it's not uh, all about flirtations for him it means serious business also so somehow uh, the breaks are applied thanks to his ic and unapproachable uh, you know outer uh, shell that he puts up on him or outer horns that you he, he has the capricorn man yeah so you cannot go closer because his horns are like that and then you know you just stop there you cannot get more closer to him until and unless he allows you to this is how he is and then once he has uh, decided that you are the one then most probably he will uh, introduce you to the family because family is very important for a capricorn man I've seen some Capricorn men uh, having a you know problem in their marriage or their relationship just because some family members didn't like the girl, didn't like their partner, so it was like mm, it didn't work out well because some members were against, and because of that, uh, this also can happen with some of them. uh and otherwise there is the other thing is that they just don't care there are just these two things uh in the capricorn man that either they are too family oriented they will go uh, for an arranged marriage or you will not even know that they got married It's secretly you just don't know that they have been married i have a a capricorn uh, uh, friend a school friend of mine very handsome guy also i will not take his name because he must be watching this <laughs> he say hey you're spilling my beans <laughs> so uh, yeah very very handsome guy and um, this guy was very very shy you know during the school days and you know, all very shy and all and we never came to know you know like uh, we all used to look at him he was very handsome and all the girls in the class would look at him as very tall you know like a typical model you know very well built and all though in studies he was not very good <laughs> but uh in life i mean i just really wonder what he will become later on most probably an athlete or a model you know for me but today he runs a school imagine he's running a school today i mean something absolutely that was not at all on anybody's mind you know 
a guy who was not at all interested so much uh, in all the books and all but today he is managing the school so well and he's doing it pretty well and he got married to his childhood sweetheart and nobody knew that he had got married nobody knew that he got married there were some religious differences and things like in india you know there's a lot about uh, all those things so uh, so it was like that and uh, of course in asia i would say not just in india but in asia it's very much you know the compatibility the faith also plays an important role like if people of two faiths come together then it is believed that they will uh, understand each other well and there will be less clashes and hence they prefer i suppose to uh, get married in the same caste same religion and things like that uh, but then this guy went completely for something completely different uh, from his own faith own culture everything was so different and uh, they make a very happy couple today and they are blessed by children who are so lovely so lovely so this is the way the capricorn man i would say climbs and swims in his life as is our fish and our goat this is how he does and somehow the universe also you know helps this capricorn man because as he is um very much determined you know his determination is very silent determination this is what i've seen is very silent determination never very uh, you know like show off or I'll say hey I'm going to do this and hey I'm going to no one will know not even this hand knows what this hand is doing in his case no one knows what's happening <laughs> until after many years when the hands are open you say wow it's all so different so he is full of surprises my dear ones you will never know what's going on in his life until he chooses you as Uh, a confident uh, as a buddy to open his feelings until then you will not know anything about him he will keep things to himself you know because he believes that till i am not there there is no point in making a show let's do it and let's show it or it will be seen why to show it also will be seen that is how his attitude is and then comes the marriage well once you're married to him congratulations that was a job huh <laughs> once you're married to him he will rather you will go to his house and then you will see that he was a perfect bachelor if he was living on his own because everything was so bachelor like there you will you might not find a second plate also for yourself so when you get married you have to take all your things okay and all the things that are required so that uh, you can also invite people at home it's not just one or two people at home there can be many other relatives friends who can drop in and then you are not going to be like okay both of you eat first okay you're finished okay give me the plates i'm going to wash them okay ah uh, ah uh, you are left okay here you go <laughs> you know you're not going to eat in installments just because there are two plates and two spoons i'm exaggerating <laughs> but this is how he is in the sense he will not have useless items in his life whatever he needs he will buy and whatever he feels is excess he will not buy as simple as that and if you are a kind of a person like me who really likes to <laughs> buy with impulse like all oh, this looks nice that looks nice you're going to have a difficult time then you say no we don't need it we already have four plates at home why there's two more it will crowd the cupboard <laughs> oh no but it looks so no 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 keep it there no it will be like that he will discipline you <laughs> yeah so it will be like that yeah and then you have to take all the things with you and then he will start arranging your new home but if he has been there since long be careful because when you're arranging his new home not his new home your new home together uh, why did i say his new home because this is how he will behave at the beginning 
he will behave like you cannot move this no i would like to put that table here no this table should go there and he will say no this table has to stay here i have been using it since eight years it stays here or since i was 10 this table is here so it has to stay here no but it doesn't look good this does this is not the place for the table no no it's better here so you have to be very good at marketing and convincing very good communication skills you have to be a good uh, negotiator a good marketing person uh, with very good communication skills so that you can convince him what goes where <laughs> and once you have convinced him with lots of logic and lots of like most probably if you put it here then maybe the space here will look a bit bigger or this corner will it's empty so let's put it there you know like if you are like that then most probably you win at the end otherwise it's going to be very very rigid you know uh, most of the capricorn men they might be living in a particular house for generations together like uh, okay the grandfather was there then the father then the son okay and then his son will also live there yeah it's a bit like that or if he has rented a place uh, then he has been there he, they, they don't shift you know they don't move immediately they really like stable way you know like it's really like very stable kind of a personality he is like okay i'm here so i'm here and i'm going to stay here for maybe another one or two decades as simple as that unless uh, i am sacked from my job unless i really have a big problem something very grave happens then i'm moving out of here or the roof collapses then i'm out of here otherwise i'm not going anywhere it's like that for capricorns you really need a very very difficult uh, happening to take place then they will move otherwise it's not easy for them or if their job demands their movement every time because they are you know in a job where they are transferred often then my dear ones then it works well um, for this man to you know move otherwise no he's just stable and likes to be there so it's like okay i call up my capricorn friend and uh, on the same landline <laughs> i will get the person from for three decades i've got the person on the same landline i was like hey okay you haven't changed the house you're still there yes i'm still there okay fine good feels nice yes very nice okay fine good <laughs> so it's like that with the capricorn man and uh, with this man once um, this man is settled in a marriage then he is very faithful and devoted provided you are really really his kinds okay he will be very faithful and very devoted otherwise this man it takes long time to settle down i feel it's really either they they it's like you know they marry as i said about my friend marry the childhood sweetheart or uh, they can have a lot of ladies in their life okay before they come to the one if they are lucky enough they will find the person very early in life like uh, during their teenage otherwise um, or you know in their 20s or or it can take really long time like or, uh, even at their 50s they will not they will not find their uh, their life partner because it's like come and go it's like that you know and he doesn't understand that because he really wants a stable relationship but he's very afraid of failing there and this is where the commitment part is very difficult for them sometimes because if he feels that oh dear this is not really matching he takes long time to commit okay and when he feels that there's some element which is not you know matching there then he will feel that there is a fear of losing her and being unsuccessful then her life will be spoiled ruined and my life will be ruined so why to go for it and then somehow either that person is tired the the lady gets tired of waiting or you know that he's not coming to a conclusion here and then saying bye and then after he's left alone until not very for very long because immediately he will find someone because they have that you know charisma that they will always attract ladies i mean not seen unless he really really wants to be alone a capricorn man cannot be alone he will always be uh, you know he's so attractive that he will always attract attention of uh, 
his potential partner or so many other ladies also will keep on you know vying for his attention and uh, I, i feel this happens because they see him very as a very dependable person you know somebody who is uh, because when they know him they will feel that oh this guy can protect me can be a good husband material this is what they say i don't like this word material <laughs> because he's not a material <laughs> yeah so they they say that he can be a very good husband and then after uh, with the wife also he will have lot of projects to do together if they are into a business he will you know take her uh, with him and they will make something good out of it and big out of it also this is how uh, he will be a simple way of living also he would like to have you know and he would like his space uh, this is what i have seen about him he will be with you maybe whole day he can hold your hand on sunday but then at one point he will just disappear and then you don't know oh he was just with me and he's disappeared now where is he you know because he needs his time off because he needs he he plans for his future he is quite futuristic he plans for his future he worries sometimes about his future so this is why uh, those growing up years are very difficult for him because he can be quite nervous his nerves suffer he can have a lot of panic inside of him panic attacks or even to the uh, you know mm, to the uh, to the point of uh, really you know like um, just leaving everything and running away he might lose confidence in in himself depending upon how he has been brought up uh, in his early ages i mean if he has been brought up by very overprotective parents he loses his capacities very easily but if it was a kind of a struggle then he becomes more you know more hellbent on achieving his uh, goals uh, through hard work you know he has that hard working thing but his initial years can be a bit uh, perturbed it can be quite uh, difficult uh, because this child as a child in him of this capricorn man as a child um, he's a bit confused he he has some insecurities that need to be calmed soon so he can have some doubts about himself whether he's not too good or shy reserved you know um and uh, i also <laughs> have another very good friend i have uh, oh yes i have very good uh, capricorn uh, friends you know most of my friends i think uh, coming from capri and aquarian signs uh, and scorpios of course that is very different kind of a, a friendship i have with uh, scorpios and taurians uh, but um, with capricorn man it was really like a very brotherly kind of a feeling i always had with them even if some of them will feel bad after listening to it but yes brotherly i don't have any other word sorry but of course even if they were so handsome and all still had that kind of you know like so protective you know this kind of feeling i used to get from them and being understood that was very important uh, you know and uh, i've seen that the capricorn man uh, one of my friends i can tell you is that um, that i was seeing like he used to know all the answers to the questions but he used to be so nervous during exam times that he would just read the questions and poof all the confidence gone and could not even answer one question and wants to run away so finally the teachers had to tell him sit and write whatever you know and he used to pass with flying colors but that confidence was missing so that happens with them in the early stages of life and as i said if the parents are very overprotective then the capacities are lost very early for them until something pushes them or a kind of a happening uh, throws them you know, on the path of uh, you know now go and get it yourself you know there's no support now you have to do it yourself and then they will do it or maybe a parents divorce or some kind of happening that takes place around them that pushes them and then then or or maybe a hard break also many a times uh, pushes them to you know rise and uh, achieve uh, what they want to achieve and when you become his wife his partner what happens uh, his girlfriend then you are in his inner circle and then the capricorn man will always show you what will he show you he show you all those beautiful things that he has and that's a secret world and there you see this traditional man because he has collected all sorts of 
and tickets <laughs> be it uh, the stamps of different countries then um, coins of different countries all kind of statues that he has collected all kind of ancient statues that he collects those little things big things whatever they are paintings can be quite good at arts also but all this is so hidden you know it's so hidden his inner world is so hidden so difficult to get there and uh, then he will show you you know so whenever it's his birthday then you think of what to give to him you should give him something antique you know something different you know uh, something which he will touch like for me something antique <laughs> so you know he just that he touches and he feels um the magic of the yesteryears that he feels connected to the past because for him is a very traditional man his family his grandparents his great grandparents you know so something like this something that reminds him of his family uh his uh, childhood or you know the love of his grandparents towards him uh, or those ancient times which will you know make his mind really you know like alert and happy so this kind of things will really attract his uh, and really make very good presence for him and i also see that um, the capricorn men uh, men like when you speak about job with them they can be very good businessmen very very sharp businessmen artists of all kinds come can come from capricorn they i i feel they can be more uh, like you know good at directing films you know because they have an eye for detail they know how it wants so as directors they can be very good directors in films film directors also this is what i see about them and you know they will start very slow and uh, as very maybe an apprentice and then later on become the director it's like that like uh, for example it's like a teenager you know who 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 didn't have much and then who was started to you know um clean maybe in a company he was uh, working just as a cleaner or something like that and then slowly slowly he got recruited in the same company and then one day he became the director of that company it's like that with the capricorns is like i'm trying to give this example in order to show you it's like how they climb the ladders it's like the mountain goat you see a very difficult mountain in front of the goat but it's like slowly and patiently and with lot of determination this goat climbs and goes on the top and watches everything below that oh i have come a long way there now as fathers how are capricorn men <laughs> strict stern i would say very authoritarian because you know it's all about traditions it's all about fitting in the frame also but very protective very protective about the little ones and uh, want to give them security want to be the provider so they will be like that you know for their children it's like i am going to provide for my wife and for my children and this is how they will do but if the wife has a problem if the wife goes away and things like that then the life of the capricorn man can be very difficult then they can um, get into bursts of anger then you know not much of alcohol i have not seen in capricorn men's life but i would say that burst of angers or you know depressions uh, melancholy this kind of things can happen uh, in the lives of capricorn men if uh, the woman they love the partner they loved has walked out of their life then it becomes a bit difficult for them to digest that and as they are very much attached as i said they don't change easily there is a lot of resistance to change on a lot of things lot of their habits yeah so there uh, they will feel internally completely broken and it might take long time for them to come out so they can fall um, an easy prey to depressions of melancholy uh, they they can become melancholic and uh, yeah that sadness you know or panic attacks this kind of things can happen often and so capricorn men need to take care uh, of things related to their head and related to their feet also they need to take real care because um, they think a lot the saturn 
is just thinking and making, you know, plans and working and working and working. So what happens is that at one point the energy, that burnout, exhaustion, uh, this kind of things can happen. So my dear Capricorn men, you have to really, really take care of that. Yes, my dear handsome Capricorn men. <laughs> yes. And um, at the end of the uh, description of the Capricorn men, I mean, I can go on and on. But I would like to say is that once you have a Capricorn man in your life, once you have his heart completely, okay, because that takes time. And if you are that kind of a person who is not ready to wait and all, um, then maybe, you know, or who cannot, you know, hold him for longer, then, then there's not even any point in trying for the Capricorn man because he, he means, you know, everything has to be done in a particular way and if you are patient towards his way of living then you can make a wonderful couple uh, with the Capricorn man who will give you the stability will protect you and your children and uh, not just that but an entire family your part of the family is part of the family the grand uh, parents from both the sides and things like that they will really be there you know to speak uh, to you know, if somebody's unwell and all, he will be there. He will take care of you. And uh, if you have this as a Capricorn, if you have the Capricorn man as a friend, then whenever you are in need, you call on him and he will always be there to help you. He's a deep, sensitive guy uh, who covers himself with layers of ice because he wants to protect his inner self. He's, he wants to protect himself. That inner self is very important for him because he's very vulnerable, you know. He can get hurt very, very easily. And when he gets hurt very easily, then his life is, um, as I said, gets into depressions and melancholy. And then you feel, oh, he's so gloomy, oh, he's so like that. But no, you don't know what he has gone through. You don't know what has happened. Just his pets that he keeps with him will know it because he loves pets also and he will keep them when he has a family otherwise it's a bit difficult for him to just take uh, care of him when he's alone because he knows for him work is worship so he will always be more focused on the work so he doesn't want to neglect the pets so if he has others also to take care of the pets then he will have a pet or two whom he will you know hold and cry and tell them whatever has happened uh, to him and this is how he is a little a little boy i feel uh, completely sensitive and misunderstood misunderstood that's the word for him misunderstood by the world uh, who doesn't know his real worth and the moment uh, you an intelligent <laughs> lady knows his worth well you will not exchange him for another so thank you my dear ones for listening <laughs> to the Capricorn Man video. Do let me know uh, if you have any Capricorn friend or your partner is a Capricorn and like I'm, I must have missed out so many so many so many points also <laughs> and um, Oh yes, about the jobs also, I forgot to tell you is that yes, about government jobs, they're very good at government jobs, artists, um, and then also in finances, they can be pretty good also because, you know, there they are left to themselves, so the accounting part is really, really nice for them. And as I said, whatever involves quiet uh, observations for them and doing things is really, uh, the, you can bring out the best out of them in that, but otherwise law, order, uh, as lawyers also, they can be pretty good. This is what I've seen about the Capricorn man. So please do share it with all your uh, Capricorn uh, men and uh, whoever is associated with them. And do let me know whatever I've missed. And uh, I would like to read that in your comments. So thank you very much for listening and take good care of your Capricorn man and you, dear Capricorn man, take good care of yourself, okay? No gloom, but smile, only bloom. Bye-bye, <laughs> God bless. Bye.